Some crews try to go up in there and we would buff them out and tell them this is our yard. So you know, like, a graffiti yard is always a base for your crew, you know? So it's good if your crew has a yard because that's their base. So then you got to hold your yard down. So some of these guys would come in and try and hit our yard. I'd be like, nah, like, you guys got your yard out there. I'm not hitting that, so don't come and hit my yard. So I'd buff them out. Now, Hurt, you're in a well-known crew. You're making a name for yourself. But as, every, as everyone has experienced getting crossed out, how do you handle it? Have you ever been crossed out? And what do you do? Do you fix it? Do you cross them out again? Is it beef? How do you handle getting crossed out? I think I got crossed out in the buses before. And I ran into the person way later on, and they told me why, and I started laughing. I go, that's right, that's what's up. You know, it was no beef. I got, I was, uh, uh, a girl crossed me out before on the bus because she was there waiting to get her spot, sitting there looking at it because someone already buffed it, but you could still see it there. But she was looking to hit her spot again, and then she said, I came in, and mom then and then stood right in front of her like this. And she was like, ah, next thing you know, I get a marker and I'm hitting her spot. She was up right there, ah. I got up on the window right there and somewhere else and jumped off the bus. So she got mad, she told me. I ran to her later. She told me, I got mad and I crossed you out. Because I crossed you out a couple of times. But then someone said, hey, you're a wonder. You can't do that. He's someone in the crew. Get in trouble, you know. And I think I seen it. I didn't say nothing. Uh, I would write my name and I would put two lines in front of it. So no one would put another letter in front of it. You know, because fools would start putting all the letters and get your name close to yours. So I put lines in front of mine so no one could pop a letter in front of it and, on my scribes. And uh, everyone gets crossed out. USC, a well-known crew in the Valley. But does USC have any relationships with other crews in the Valley? Who would you say is the most, uh, the most, uh, Who would you say is a crew comparable to USC in the Valley? Does USC get along with any other crews? We kind of get along with pretty much all the other crews in the Valley, the older crews, because uh, we know all their OG members. We all started around the same time, probably kicked up the same dirt. Uh, USC, though, we go against the grain and we just stay in our lane and run our own program. You know what I mean? I don't get involved with all graffiti politics or any of these other crews because I'm just about painting and that's it. I don't, I, don't, I don't worry about all the other crews that much. I got homies from crews that I paint with that are solid ass homies that I've been painting since we were hitting the yards back in the early 90s that I still paint with today. So like, I'm good with those guys. You know, my homies uh, got a mommy cools from ICR. Me and him used to paint the yards way back in the days. We still go painting. Uh, a couple of other good writers, you know. I go painting with T-Logs. I got uh, my homie Versus. I go paint with him too. So I really don't trip on all the all crew stuff. I just paint and do, you know, that to myself. Hurt, USC has a long list of legendary members throughout the years. One of them being Tulse STP. Can you please talk about Tulse STP first meeting him and what type of person was he like? Can you describe him for us who, who, who never knew him? A real cool guy. I met him, he was real young, young writer. I met him on the bus. He was uh, from uh, TUG. He wasn't from STP. He was from TUG. How do you meet him on the bus? Do you see him riding? I seen him riding off the 420 line. I used to be out bombing the buses. So I made a lot of riders on the bus. Met a bunch of the, all the OGK now, some of the MCPs. And uh, he was from his crew called TUG. There's a couple of them. They're all getting up in that area, all up and down the Lower Canyon bus lines in the 420s. And uh, he, was real, he was cool. He ended up getting into USC. He asked us how to get in USC, and we got him in USC later, and he was bombing USC up on all the buses. And then uh, he had a couple of landmarks. I got a picture of a freeway he did. It says uh, Tulsa, USC. It says Unit. I think it says Unit, USC, because Unit was from USC back in the days. So Swass, Stasic. And um, he just, he, he started bombing. He was a bus bomber. When I let him in our crew, he was a bus bomber. He was hitting buses heavy. And then I think when he got an SDP, 
that's when he started doing more landmarks and all of that. Does he ever share with you how he got the name Tulse? Does he ever reveal that? No, nah, I never really asked him where he got his name from. He was a real cool guy, real cool homie. Even so he got out of our crew and got an STP, there was never no bad animosity or harsh feelings or nothing. Every time I saw him, I always shook his hand and told him what's up and uh, kicked it with him. You know, he's a good writer. He, was, uh, he got up a lot. You know, he took it to the next level. Another well-known writer from the USC crew is Stesic. I used to drive to my girlfriend's house almost every day, bro, and I would see Stesic up on the freeways going towards the valley. Can you please talk about this vandal? How do you first meet him? Stesic got in. He was a bus chaser, Silmar rider. He got in probably early 90s. Render let him in with Swiss. Kaz, I think it's West Kaz, Detest, um, Emir. I think all of them got in the same batch. Ways, all of them got in together. And um, he kicked it and he bombed buses with us. He got up with all of us. He was an old school bus rider. Later on, like people spread out. So I guess he got another cruise later on. But he still stayed painting. He had six uh, throw ups. One-liner throws. He had. I used to see him too, and um, he got another cruise as time went on, and he got better. One day he hit up the OG Silk, and asked if he could still hit up USC because that was his first crew. So they called me on a three-way. He asked me if it was okay to hit up his first crew still. I go yeah, go ahead, because I'm gonna put in work. Hurts my first crew. And I go go ahead, dog. If you're gonna, you wanna hit up your first crew, handle it. I'm not gonna take that from him. So he gets it up. He's a good, solid member. You know? Nice, man. Definitely an underrated artist who should be uh, recognized more. Thank I you for sharing that, bro. Now, I also want to talk about another L.A. legend, T. Loke. You mentioned first uh, meeting him in a, was it a Rap Pages concert? Can you please uh, talk about that again and, and fill us in on how you first meet him? I used to work for uh, Rap Pages magazine, giving them out in the clubs and all that for their promotions. It was owned by Larry Flint. And I went to, I forgot where it was, some club, and I had a whole box of magazines giving them out. And he was there giving out the same box of magazines too. And we were like, what? But he was like, like I said, he was from Priority, and I was with Rap Pages, and um, it was street teams at that time. Yeah, street teams giving everything out, you know, because there was no internet, none of that. Everything was on magazines. And, uh, did you just, know who he was, or did he know who you were? And how do you find out who's who? He said he was a writer, and I said, oh, I'm a writer too, you know? And he told me t looks. I told him Hurt. He said he saw me up before. I think he saw one of my characters in downtown somewhere. Had you ever heard of t looks at seen that him point? Up, I seen him up in downtown. We used to go down on the buses. He used to have the, all, the, um, all the parking lots. Would have a, you know, he'd have a t looks in those parking lots in downtown. And uh, he just hit me up one day. Afterwards, we were cool, and he hit me up to paint one day. I got some walls in South Central. So... You know, me, him and a couple of his boys didn't go hit him. So I went with them and uh, I hadn't painted in a while, probably like three, four years. So then he got me out painting again in South Central. So then, so then we started going back to back. So it'd be me, him, Tribe, Doom, a couple other people. So we started doing pieces back to back out there. How were your skills in this uh, early era? Does he give you any comments to your, uh, to what you're painting? Does he say anything? Is he impressed? I was still learning, but then we're always still learning. So then I was doing the characters and backgrounds, and he was doing the letters, and uh, we, we would just keep it like that. We would switch it up too sometimes, but I was still practicing learning my characters. So then I was painting with Doom and them, a couple of his boys. So then it was good because I got to get on the wall and practice and then teach his boys too a little bit how to paint. And um, when you got three, four guys doing one production, you know, then it's going to come out nice because you got a couple of different hands working everything. We've seen recently the both of you still out on the streets painting. How have you, the both of you, managed to maintain the friendship for so long? We, we just, after that, because we've just been homies for a long time, man. 
who used to work for uh, Playboy, Playboy Live, doing security. You know, he was filming there one day too. He goes, "Hey, heard what are you doing? Nothing. I need an extra guy to come help me watch a camera." I go, "What?" He goes, "Yeah, come on." I go, "All right, we're gonna pay you. Just wear all black." <laughs> That's right up my alley. So then I get there. They just stab me there by the camera. I just make sure no one messes with the camera all night. And this big old rave going on. <sighs> and um, they said, "No, I got a job." He said, "Hey, we need another one." So then after a minute, they're like, "Hey, put him in security with us." So then we were filming uh, for Playboy Live and Reality Kings. So we've always been homies. I've been here when painting in Miami, uh, different places, Mexico City. We still always go to Papa's and beer back in the days. Me, him, and my homeboy Juice, rest in peace. So every spring break, we're in Papa's and beers. We'd party, we'd just paint out there. We painted the road dolls in TJ way back in the days, you know? So. It's just, you know, I've been good homies. Did you ever get busted in Mexico painting? Nah, not yet. Knock on wood. <laughs>